It is my honor to welcome to stage Mr. Ron Conway. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Um, I, I invest in startups, and startups are started by founders. And this graduation class, uh, I consider to be founders. You, you are founders of your own career. And the fact that you're in the Genesis program says that your prospects for success are much, much higher than, than other people. Um, a little bit about me, uh, I was born at St. Mary's Hospital in San Francisco, uh, grew up in the Sunset District, and if my family didn't move, I would have gone to Lincoln High School. Uh, but we... But we moved to down to the uh, to the suburbs, um, and I have to say, speaking after AJ is not going to be easy. <laughs> you, you're you are a gifted speaker, uh, and and if you think you're a rookie now, you know you can run for president someday. <laughs> Although you're probably too good for Washington, <laughs> since. All they do is shut things down. <laughs> um, so I, uh, you know, I'm I'm like I'm like the graduates. Um, I was born to a middle class family, um, and I learned work ethic really early. Because uh, when I was 16, I said to my father, "Hey, I, I want a I want a car." Uh, and in those days, most fathers said, I don't think you're responsible, you can't drive, I won't let you get a license. Uh, so lots of kids didn't get licenses for a while. My father said, what's holding you up? Um, go, go get a car anytime you want. Uh, but I didn't have any money. So I, I washed dishes. Uh, and I washed hundreds of thousands of dishes. But what washing dishes did is give me what I call a work ethic. And if you have a work ethic, your chances of success are astronomically higher than your peers. Because I, I, I hate to say it, I, I think lots of people are lazy. The graduates here are not lazy. You wouldn't have been interns last summer if you were lazy people. So I think it's really, important that you understand that you have this quality called work ethic and because of that you have work ethic and desire you want to achieve and because of that your chances of success are literally assured uh, and and you should know that so that next year when you become an intern again you're even more confident that, that you're gonna be very, very successful. Um, so I, I think you need to be, be proud of that. The, I think I'm also living proof that anything is possible. Um, and I probably shouldn't say, that in the, say this in this room, but I actually didn't enjoy school that much. I actually enjoyed working. Um, you know, I went from washing dishes to working in a liquor store to being a waiter. Um, and funny enough, I like that more than going to school. Um, but, but I had one teacher who said, who started the class, and I only got, you know, B's and C's. I had one teacher who said, no one in this class gets an A. And that pissed me off. <laughs> and guess what? I got an A. Because statistically, the guy had to give me an A. <laughs> um, I, I think you guys, the graduates, have a huge head start because you are, because of your internships, you have a work ethic and you have picked the technology industry to hopefully build your careers in. If, if you leave with anything tonight, 
leave with my recommendation that you keep interning at tech companies in the Bay Area because the tech boom in the Bay Area right now is crying for talented people like you who have a good work ethic, um, who can contribute to their companies. And you do not have to be an engineer or a PhD to do that. I'm a political science major and I'm knee deep in the tech industry. So you, you, you don't have to go get a, a bunch of degrees. Hopefully some of you will, but, but you don't have to. There are thousands and thousands of awesome career opportunities in tech in the Bay Area. And if you set your mind to it and pick a field you want to be in, you're in an area that you can succeed. You can, you can get that job. Um, this has been drilled into my head because I met Mark Zuckerberg when he was 18 years old. Um, and he had just moved to California. Um, he is no different from you. His father was a dentist, and the dentist office was in their home. So, you, you know, I'm sure you're from humble beginnings, and understand anything is possible. You know, you, you can be the next Mark Zuckerberg. There's nothing stopping you from doing that, especially if you stay in the tech industry. Uh, I just left a speech that, that Brian Chesky gave. Uh, he's the founder of Airbnb, a great San Francisco company. Uh, you know, he grew up in upstate New York. His parents are school teachers. And now he's running this awesome sharing economy company. Um, uh, Jack Dorsey, you know, grew up in St. Louis from very, very humble roots and came to California and founded Twitter and Square. These are just examples of what you can do. Um, and there's absolutely nothing stopping you. Uh, the opportunity is there. I loved the video uh, because it's clear that, that you live by a theme that I live by, which is work hard and then play hard. Um, I actually take the entire summer off, but during the year, during the school year, um, I, I work my tail off, but I, I work hard so that I can play hard. Um, and there's nothing wrong with playing hard as long as you've worked hard. So with that, I can't congratulate you enough. It's an honor to be here, and you have an awesome board member, Scott Cooper, uh, who's the one who asked me to speak here, and, and I'm honored to do that. Congratulations.